Before BYU musicians can graduate, they face one final performance showcasing everything they've mastered during their years of training. Join reporter Kristen Todd as she follows one violinist on her journey through the BYU music program and explores what it took to prepare for her culminating senior recital. After a lifetime of preparation, Sini Tulia Vineyard raised her violin for her final solo performance here at BYU last Saturday. Sini started her journey as a violinist at a very young age in her home country of Finland. I always wanted to practice, even when I was very, very little. My mom had to go to the local library to get me more music because I didn't have enough music to practice. As Sini's talent grew on the violin, she had to travel more than two hours to her lessons each week. When I was, I think I was nine or ten years old when my violin teacher told my mom that if I ever wanted to go anywhere with violin, I was going to move out after middle school. With someone as independent and strong as Sini, moving away at 14 didn't seem to scare her. Instead, she looked at it as an opportunity for her musical talent to grow. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was so young. I just moved away and figured it out. I was attending a conservatory, a music conservatory where I did a vocational training in music and then I was also going to a uh, high school, a regular high school. The conservatory that Zini attended gave her the experience she was hoping for. I practiced six to eight hours a day all through high school um, and so I, I think that's what helped me the most as a musician, just spending tons of time with my violin. However, when it came time to decide where to go to college, Sini had a tough decision to make. I was going to go to Sibelius Academy, which is the music university in Finland, a very prestigious university there, prestigious all throughout Europe, everybody knows it. That was the life plan. Before my senior year in high school, I had a summer where I traveled a lot for music. I went to three or four different music festivals and saw a lot of the musician world and that's kind of when it hit me. I realized I didn't really want to be in that environment. It just wasn't what I believe in. The values and the principles that these people um, had weren't anywhere close to um, the values that I have. And that's when I started looking for something else. And Sini's searching brought her to BYU campus for auditions into the School of Music. The minute I arrived on campus, I knew this was the place for me. It's just BYU has a different spirit about it. Um, you forget it when you're here, but when you go away for a while and you come back, um, it surprises you every time, at least it does surprise me. Giving up her connections in Europe, Sini settled here in Provo and found her place at BYU. Really, the school of music, it's, it feels like a family and um, the professors are very invested in your education. Sini spends countless hours in practice rooms like this one where she works on perfecting the pieces that she'll perform at her senior recital. It's kind of the culminating point of, of my violin studies here. It's all the practice hours I've ever done in my life, I guess. It's not just what I've practiced right now. I do think of it as giving my thanks to all the people who've worked with me here. Sini's teacher for her four years at BYU says that her recital proved to be just what he was hoping for. It's so wonderful to see people that work so hard do so well. Um, and she deserves it. She's really one of our hardest working violinists we've had here. After hearing Sini play her violin, the audience was not left doubting about the potential of this young, dedicated musician. To be able to do that through the violin is, is, a, is a gift. And uh, some people can develop it, she did. I'm very happy with how it went, um, and I had a lot of fun. Kristen Todd, BYU Weekly.